Hello, you're welcome to investigate the nature of the turning point or stationary point of this function solution from what we have here. First thing we should note that at turning point or stationary point, we have the y dx that is the derivative of y here is equal to zero. Then here, when we differentiate the function given, the y dx from there is the same thing as 3x square over 3, then minus 2x minus 3. And then, which implies that here we can reduce further 3 cancel each other, and we have x square minus 2x minus 3. Then, which is equals to 0 at turning point. Then, we have a quadratic equation here, which we can solve by factorizing. That is, here this become x square minus 3x plus x. Then, minus 3 equals to 0 from here. Then, when we factor this to 2 here, we have x into bracket x minus 3 what is common between these two then plus 1 is common here so we have 1 into bracket x minus 3 a equals to 0 from here that is we have x minus 3 common then to bracket x plus 1 left then equals to 0 from here then here is it that we have x minus 3 equals to 0 or we have x plus 1 equals to 0 from here and on this side we have x equals to 3 and here we have x equals to minus 1 so here we have these two points as our turning point or stationary values then to investigate this we take the second order derivative that is we have the square y dx square which implies that if this is less than zero at turning point we are going to be having maximum value that is the turning point will be a maximum value i mean maximum point Rather, then if the second deriv other derivative is greater than zero, then at turning point, it implies the turning point is a minimum point. Then also, if it is equals to zero, it means we have a point of inflection. We have a point of inflection. Then here, from what we have, the second order derivative, the square y, the x square, is same thing as differentiating the first derivative again. At this, we differentiate this again now to get the second order derivative, and that becomes 2x minus 2. Then at the first turning point, which is at x equals to 3, at x equals to 3 here, then we have the square y, the x square, will now be equals to 2 times 3 minus 2, which is equals to 2 times 3, that's 6 minus 2, which is equals to 4 which is greater than zero from here. Then since uh, at the turning point, the square y, the x square is greater than zero. Therefore, we can see that point x equals to three is a minimum point here, yeah? is a minimum point. And also we can get a minimum value. Just put minimum point in the given function 
y here and we are going to have a minimum i mean value then let's investigate the second turning point which is x equals to minus one then at point x equals to minus one we have the second order derivative the square y the x square is then equals to 2 times minus 1 th minus 2 here and 2 times minus 1 that's minus 2 then minus 2 which is minus 4 and this is less than 0 from here that is since at the second order derivative we have the value there less than 0 therefore x equals to minus 1 is a maximum point is a maximum point which implies we can also get the maximum value and substitute the maximum point in the given function therefore we have investigated the nature of the turning point of this given function and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on share this video give it some so put your comments and also be part of this community by joining any package of your choice to have access to our exclusive perks. And thank you. See you next class and bye for now.